This is not a kid-friendly show. <laughs> Yo, what's going on, my dudes? Welcome to another stream coverage video, and today we're going to be talking about deep sea fishing. Now, there's actually a lot of content coming with deep sea fishing, which, in fact, actually feels like a fishing rework, in my opinion. So it's actually got me really excited. With that out of the way, we're going to jump right into it. Right now, what you're seeing right now is just the play test area for this. So for the first portion of this video, we're just going to focus on the mechanics of the new fishing that we're going to be dealing with, and then we're going to actually jump into the new area. And it's still a work in progress, but you get to see a lot of the visuals and they look amazing. So right now, this is just a playtest area, but we will get into the actual area soon after. So first and foremost, we have the high intensity fishing that we've seen at RuneFest. This one has you constantly clicking and looking at the screen. As you see here, the spots are moving relatively quickly. He's getting a lot of XP drops constantly, but it like I said, you're going to have to actively be moving your mouse around and engaging with the area. Now, there's not going to be any resources earned while you're doing this type of fishing, so you're not going to be getting any fish, but they're talking about having some potential point system or some form of renown that you can spend later on or elsewhere. This will actually be faster XP than waterfall fishing and the fastest XP rates in the game to date. Waterfall fishing is going to be getting a slight nerf, but... It will still be the highest AFK method for XP. So it's not going to get completely run down. It'll still be viable for the amount of AFK that it is. Next up, we have a new type of fishing spot. These baitable spots. Now, the idea is you have a specific type of bait for a specific fish. And you can cast it out and attract that type of fish. And when you fish in these spots, you'll only be attracting that fish. Now, there's going to be a finite number of fish to catch per spot. And once you've caught them all, you'll need to cast out more bait. So this is really interesting if you're only going after a very specific type of fish. It's also important to note that this will be the only way that you can currently in-game actively fish for manta rays and sea turtles. So yes, there will now be a reliable source of income for manta rays and turtles coming into the game and not having to rely on fishing trawler, which is really exciting. The next mechanic we now have shoal spots. Now, by and large, this is going to work very similar to current fishing. It's going to be AFK fishing with some pretty decent XP rates. The fishing spots will move around, but only every once in a while, not very often, not extremely active, and pretty laid back. Like I said, it's going to feel very similar to how fishing currently is. The difference, however, is these fish will be stackable. Since they are stackable, they're only going to heal a very low amount of HP if you eat them. Jagex is actually looking at making these a type of currency. So you can trade in these fish, these stackable fish, to the fishermen in that new area. And maybe they give you things like sea turtle bait or manta ray bait. They're still experimenting with it, but that's kind of the direction they want to go with it. They also mentioned that these fishing shoals will make use of the upcoming skilling offhands project that we've seen at RuneFest. So somehow that's going to tie into this fishing spot. Next up, we have a new style of fishing. They simply just called it ZMI fishing. Just by hearing the name, you can imagine how it works. Very similar to the ZMI altar in runecrafting. So regardless of your fishing level, you'll be able to come here and anyone can fish here and catch from a select pool of fish. That means you'll be able to actually catch fish higher than your current fishing level. However, it's important to note that the greater the level difference is required to catch the fish versus your level, the more rare that fish will be. And finally, the next fishing mechanic that they showed off is in fact a new fish called the sailfish. This is going to be the new highest tier of fish with the best healing. There's actually going to be two types of spots to catch them at, and they both move around. One of them is more AFK and has a lower catch rate and it doesn't move around as often. The other one moves around much more often but has an increased catch rate and more XP. And this particular spot is actually going to be the best XP rates for any type of fishing that produces a valuable resource. So compared to the other types of fishing that produce things like shark, rock tail, cave fish, etc. This is going to be the highest XP of those types of fishing spots. So those are all the new mechanics we can expect with deep sea fishing. Now let's look at the gorgeous new area. And here it is. This place looks amazing. It's going to be a social hub for all types of people fishing. It's not going to be instanced. They may look at placing a level 60 fishing requirement to access this area just like the fishing guild. But they're not 100% sure if they're actually going to go through with that. So you're going to hitch a boat ride over to this area. It's split up into different areas scattered all around. 
and different various boats can work as banks or deposit boxes so you don't have to travel too far from the fishing locations to access your banks, etc. They're also experimenting with DNDs that are interactable within the hub. The types of experimental ideas that they've thrown out there is maybe a large shark appears and an NPC calls it out, which causes large groups of people to migrate to the new occurrences. Maybe birds will come down and attack your fishing spot to lower your catch rates and you have to interact with them in some way to shoo them away. They also have large open areas of water that they're designating as themes. One example of what a theme might be is the open waters could be infested with jellyfish one day and maybe you can catch those or have to interact with those in some fashion. The next day or maybe the next week sharks might be there and only this week you can access exotic sharks like tiger sharks. Those are the kinds of things that you can expect to happen always to make this area feel lively and exciting. These kinds of changes are a way to make you interact with the area, not just on a daily basis, but on a weekly basis. You never know what you're going to be getting. So yeah, guys, that's about it. The area looks amazing. I can't wait for this to come out. I've teased enough about deep sea fishing. Let me know what you guys think about it below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, and if you are not subscribed yet and you want to stay up to date on all things RuneScape related, then hit that subscribe button. Anyways, I appreciate you guys watching. I'm out. Peace.